Simply moving data around Excel is something so many people out there are trying to do. I'm trying to do it all the time in my work. Without VBA, it's very time consuming. With VBA, we can dramatically speed things up. Now, first I recommend looking at our Excel for Post Beginners series, where we deal with one approach for moving data around a file. But I'm actually gonna say, in this series, we're taking a different approach that's much more efficient than the approach we had in the previous series. In the previous series, we used quite a few lines of code. In this series, we're gonna look at a much more efficient way of getting this done. Let's get straight into the download file. Now, the download file is based on an engineering method statement. Over the years, I've been asked to create lots of method statements for engineering, so I, fig I figured it's an interesting application. And what are we trying to do? We're trying to take data from the first sheet in the file, and then we've got three other sheets in the file. We want to put the data onto the other sheets in the file, but we can see we can't just do it with a simple copy paste because on the other sheets, on the method sheet, for example, the data is in a different order. So we can't just do it with a simple copy paste. We need something more sophisticated than that. Let me show you first how it works. Uh, here's the code. I'll get the Visual Basic Editor up here. Here's the code and you can see straight away, we've only got six or seven lines of code here, but there's some things going on in the background uh, that we're gonna learn about. What have we got? We've got the usual suspects, if you like, uh, for the Tiger YouTube channel. We've got a, a range variable working with a loop here to loop through a range of cells. And those cells are actually coming from a back end table. If you go to the engine sheet, we've got a back-end table here. Now, this back-end table is kind of the secret weapon uh, for this approach I'm going to show you. And we can add details to this back-end table. That's going to add another step to our report, allow us to move some more data around. Don't worry if that doesn't make sense. Let's get into it. It's going to make sense uh, as we go along. So I'm going to start a new module here, Insert. Uh, module. And I'm also going to put a new sheet in the file. Let's just put option explicit in here straight away. I'm going to put a new sheet in the file. Now the new sheet we're going to use to create a table that's going to support this process of transferring data. As I said, it won't make sense straight away. Uh, just bear with me. Now I'm going to call this sheet uh, engine2. Just outside of your screenshot. I'm gonna call it engine two. And then we wanna create a table. Now in this table, we're gonna to say to Excel, what data do we want to move? Where do we want to move it to? And where is this data coming from? For example, uh, looking at the method sheet on the method sheet now, I can see I want the project title information moving into cell C6. Now that project title information is on the detail sheet in also in cell. C6 on this occasion, but not all of the cells are lined up like that as we're going to see. So I wanna capture that information uh, in a table. Let's say table to transfer data. Make sure you're working along with me, by the way, you can download the file from the website. Say table to transfer data. Let's say data name first in the first column. And then we're gonna say, just move that down one row. And then we're gonna say, or uh, destination first, actually. So destination, where do we want the data to go? And we want two pieces of information here. I'm just gonna increase the uh, column width here. F4 key on the Windows PC to increase the column widths. So the destination, what is the destination sheet? And then what cell do we want the data to go into on the destination sheet? Now this first piece of data, the name is project title. So I'm gonna pop that in there, project title. The destination sheet, well, that's the method sheet. We want to move data into that, sh that sheet and it's on cell C6. So we've got the destination information there. We also want the origin, origin information. Where is the data coming from? Again, the sheet and the cell. Well, all the data in this case is gonna be coming from the same sheet, which is the detail sheet. And this particular piece of data is also in cell C6, so I'm gonna put details and then C6 in there. Now this is our basic setup. I'm just gonna put some bold formatting here 
to highlight the table headers, but this is our basic setup. And if I said to you, this is all you need, you just have to continue this table for every row in the table, an action's gonna be performed to move the data around according to how you've specified it in the table. That's how the mechanism uh, is going to work. Let's just do one more uh, while we're here. So method statement sheets. So we want to move the site name into cell C7 and the site name is on cell C10 on the detail sheet. So site name here and then methods. And then let me just check. So this is cell C7 we want to move into and the origin sheet is cell Luna the dog is off. The origin sheet, uh, the origin cell rather, is uh, cell C10. Okay, and um, you can continue populating this table. So you might be saying to me, but Chris, you know, populating a table is a very manual thing to do. I agree, but you only have to populate it once and you can then make adjustments to the table which is going to change how the data transfer is working. You don't have to go to the VBA editor at all. We're just going to use this table. That's what we're going to look at in the next video in the series. Introduce some code, start working with this table, start moving some data around the file. I'll see you in the next video.